Hi friends, welcome back to Mario Appleberry. I am Kenny the Messy Sofer. If this is your first time here, and if it is, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so fucking happy you found me. So, what I'm doing today, this, I did not intend to make this soap. I'm making my bee's knees. My bee's knees is oatmeal, milk, and honey. And, um, I've made this soap since the beginning of time. It's always been a very, it actually, it's my number one selling soap. It's been a staple with Royal Appleberry. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to try something different because, again, I kind of made a mistake. So I was going to make another soap, an all-natural soap, and I was using uh, oat milk. I mean, not oat milk. I, I was using rice milk and um, aloe vera juice, and I <laughs> did the wrong measurements of my lye, so I figure I would just use it in this batch, not the batch that I'm creating. I actually did the lye measurements for this batch, so I figure, you know what, let's go ahead and try it. Plus, I did say I wanted to try an oat milk or rice milk in my... Uh, oatmeal milk and honey soap and plus um, um, this this rice milk was just really 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 fantastic to me so I definitely want to give that a go and I think no I was gonna put some buttermilk in here but let's not push it too much so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my additives which right here I got a little bit of kale and clay in here and some um uh, whipping cream and goat milk. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my rice milk solution. There's no water in here. And I guess I could take that out. And I think... Well, no, I'm going to make it look the same as usual. I just got a little bit different. Um, ingredients just a little bit so should bring you guys a little bit closer there you go so I'm gonna be adding my rice milk which is kind of thick that's all right it all works the same I just really 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 enjoyed my rice milk soap I made before I just I love the way that felt it was so fantastic so I said I need to do another rice milk soap and I think it would just be fantastic with my oatmeal milk and honey now the only thing I just don't know how it's going to behave with honey in it but we're gonna find out because <laughs> in my um, oatmeal milk and honey I actually use uh, oats milk and honey the goat's milk honey I use wildflower honey and then uh, rolled oats so this is behaving beautifully so let me go ahead and grab my color and another cup because I need to split this off actually I'm just gonna use the same cup right here but I use my lie for my lie for my lie for my lie and I don't need that much well I always forget I do the base in a different color Okay, so let me grab the colors I'm going to use. Those laying around. So, what I'm going to put in here is my um, Demigod Gold. And then I will add my oats. Oh, this look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? That is such a pretty goal, oh my gosh. Okay, I might want to put more than that. And I don't try to make this gold. I just wanted that honey color.
I think that's going to end up being more like a ghost world where you can barely see it, but it's there, you know. Okay, so now let's get our mold over here and get that in. Which, yeah, I actually need more, but it was never a set height uh, for my my bottom of my soap. That's fine, actually. And I mean, really, it is kind of a different design. I mean, ingredients, so I can make it a different design. It doesn't have to be exact. And it always varies. Same but different. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get this in here and grab my spatula. Oh, I got such a good angle today. I'm going to try to remember this. So this is really starting to heat up. I just need to, yeah, give it just a little bit more of a swirl. If that darker color doesn't show up, that's fine. But, um, yeah, okay. Perfect. I don't think I'm going to see a contrast in the two colors just because they were too similar. But um, I really need to get that in there because it was starting to thicken up. I think it just really needed to be stirred to loosen it back up because as you can see that's quite fluid but it doesn't matter. So, oops. I think that looks good um, but I really want to kind of clean this inside up which I'm gonna have to do it again that's okay hopefully my arm is not in your way it is sorry <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna take this side and just kind of give it a little bit of a texture and then I'll put some oats on that side. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my gloves off. Just because it's easier for me to place these without my gloves on. So here's a little bit of um like honeycomb that I made. And I just keep it in a sheet so when I need some, I'll just kind of chop it up and I used to stick these up but then um, they started breaking during packaging so I just said you know what we'll do it this way makes it much easier and I had stopped putting them on my soap for a while for that reason so let's put a little bit of oats in there and then I'll put the rest on Yeah, um, I had stopped actually putting the little honeycombs on there for that reason, just because packaging was a nightmare, trying not to break them. But now, since I laid them flat, no problemo. Okay, so now I'm going to put my gloves back on. Yep, everything's very backwards, but at least one of them, because I'm pretty sure I got some raw soap on this spatula somewhere, and I ain't trying to touch it. So now, I'm going to take the little drizzle that I had. And this is going to get messy. Cause, well, I got more on the table than I got on it. <laughs> but there's just no neat way to do this. So, And this is a little thicker than I would like. So it's not drizzling the way I want it to. That's okay. 
get some of that off the spatula. This always looks like something to eat. <laughs> it really does look quite delicious. Okay, so let me clean up a little bit. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to take out these glasses because they are making my eyeballs sweat. And then I'll give you guys a close up and then you can stay tuned for cutting. Okay, duck. So this is what it looks like up close. The drizzle quite a bit, a bit neater, but. I'm not mad at it so yeah I'm really excited I'm definitely keeping a bar of this and I'm gonna make another loaf just because I normally make two loaves but this was a spur of the moment type thing but um yeah stay tuned because cutting is coming up right now hey friends welcome back to Royal Appleberry um I am doing the unmolding and cutting of my oatmeal milk and honey soap which is made with rice milk um I don't know why I started unloading on film, but why not? This one has lots of soda ash and it heated up. Of course, I expect it to because it has honey in it. But um, yeah, it um, has soda ash, but I'm going to steam that off. Normally, I wash the tops of my soaps uh, before I unmold them. But this one, I'm not going to just because it does have oats on it and I don't want them wet. That would be kind of gross. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> especially before they sell. So gonna go ahead and pop this out of the mold and then we'll get to chop chop get my cutter on in here hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day I am I always do I think for the most part anyway um oh yeah the colors came out really nice these are actually the colors that I normally make them so I was fretting about the color difference I thought I didn't make them um dark enough so they'll be distinguished but they are so i'm going to turn this on its side and normally you know yes let's just keep things normal <laughs> i go through in um bevel you know what whatever i'll do it after but i normally bevel the ends the edges before i um cut it but not today so i'm going to cut a sample off of this because i like to give out samples to you all and then this one, I mean, there really isn't much to see. I always just leave it rather plain on the inside. Um, it'll have some faint swirls, but that's about it. But I'll show you guys anyway. And if you are new to my channel, I probably already said this. I am so freaking happy you are here. Thanks for sticking around this long. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing so. And ju jumping in the sack, which is my steak and awesome crew. That's what I call my subscribers. It's absolutely free. I think you'll like it here. We have a lot of fun over here. But, um, yeah. And if you like this soap, please be sure to give a thumbs up for all of my hard work. That would be greatly appreciated as well. I always love the tops of these soaps. So if you're interested in one of these bars, you'll find this in my store right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another loaf of this. Like I said, this was kind of impromptu soap making. <laughs> but I'm going to make another loaf because this is my most popular soap. Always have been since I... Um, since I opened my store, I should probably turn that down. So yeah, I'm going to have a piping festival. Um, I have a lot of soaps that I want to make with flowers on top. So I'm going to sit down and pipe three batches worth. I'll film some of it, not all of it, because that would just be a very, very, very long video. Because I'm piping flowers for several different bars of soaps. And then I'm going to make some embeds uh, out of one of them as well. Because I... I was going to make this soap in the summer and I just never got around to it because I've been super busy, but I'm going to make it now. So that is the plan, the agenda for today. And Hunter is going to help me rearrange my soap studio and um, just kind of organize a little bit better where it makes sense for me. So if you would like to share my videos in your Facebook groups or however, whatever social media, that would be greatly appreciated as well. The bigger we can get the sack, the better. <laughs> um.